Today we're gonna keep it simple, black and white on a black shirt. Let's go ahead and get started. And welcome back to another video guys. If you guys are new here, my name is Ernie and I customize just about anything from branded merchandise to promotional products. And today we're gonna keep it simple and do this portrait. I wanna keep the stencil on as much as I can. This way I prevent some overspray on the black shirt. Believe it or not, this is one of the best reference photos I've received and you don't want to know where this photograph came from. The reference picture is great because it has a lot of hard shadows and really defines the features of the person. The most difficult people to airbrush or to paint are babies because their features are not yet defined and their face is very soft and it's very difficult to uh, make them look the way they actually look. Uh, whereas if you were to paint someone that's older, that has a lot of uh, features um, that are very pronounced or they have, you know, like some wrinkles and stuff like that, tends to make it easier uh, to reproduce on anything from a shirt to a canvas. Also in my experience, I've noticed that males are more easy to paint than females so for the same reason that the features are more defined than uh, the females you know if um, you have some reference pictures of females with harsh shadows uh, it's a little bit easier than if you know you were to take like a professional uh, you know portrait photograph with a lot of lighting if it has a lot of color as far as the lighting goes it's a little bit easier to get those features uh, from the face as well And of course, working with older uh, photographs that are not too sharp, it's very difficult to get uh, any detail out of those pictures. So you're almost playing a guessing game. And um, at that point, you don't know if what you're painting is how the actual person looked like or anything for that matter, whether it be a car or a plan or anything like that. If it's if the reference photograph is, is a little bad, then obviously you won't be able to reproduce that and uh, it'll be a little bit difficult. So I've been painting for a very long time, uh, ever since back in high school, junior high, and stuff like that and I've all throughout my career I've been using different mediums I've been using um, I've used like pencil you know pan markers um, a regular brush acrylic um, charcoal stippling I've even uh, gotten my hands on uh, tattoo machines um, what else spray can you name it I've pretty much utilized the majority of the mediums that are out there, even digital uh, uh, graphics, you know, even before I even had Photoshop, I was drawing on, uh, I think it was like uh, Microsoft Paint. I was painting like little lowrider bicycles back in the day. But I think um, Airbrush is the best uh, tool out there. It's uh, It gives you the ability to draw really fine lines and go quickly and change into like thicker broader you know faded lines and you can paint something fairly quickly whereas um, a brush you're, you're it kind of works too because you can use like you know I guess different size brushes but um, you're laying down a lot of paint with a brush and you have to wait for it to dry and stuff like that but with the airbrush as soon as you lay down a, a line because you're using air at the same time it almost wants to dry on the way to the shirt. So once when you spray it out of the gun, 
as soon as it hits the shirt it almost dries instantly so that's kind of a cool way to to paint quicker and produce more art uh, and of course you can use you know paint larger stuff uh, fairly quickly as well and of course you can paint finer detail as well and um, I really enjoy airbrush and I think it's one of the best tools out there for creating art So working as a graphic designer, I've done everything from uh, package design to logo design, but uh, I fell into the decorating industry. And when I say decorating, I'm, um, I mean like printing uh, merchandise. So uh, I know everything that there is to know about putting a uh, brand or a piece of art onto any item. So, you know, as far as screen printing, embroidery, pad printing laser engraving um, you know epoxy application anything that's branded out there I pretty much can tell you how it's been uh, decorated so uh, that's one of the things too that um, a lot of people don't know that I can do other stuff besides just this and uh, but uh, this is like one of the, the things that kind of takes me back to when I first started you know doing art and back then I really wanted to make money doing art but I, I just didn't have uh, an idea of how to do that so uh, yeah I just decided you know what you know industry business graphic design kind of goes together and that's how I ended up uh, you know going to school for that I ended up going to Brooks College in Long Beach and uh, I don't think that's there no more but uh, but yeah I got some you know basic um, industry knowledge for two years and everything else I learned myself and you know just keep practicing and that's what I ended up doing So there wasn't really a script for this video, I just wanted to showcase this black and white shirt and uh, showing the portrait. We ended up adding a little bit of text in the background uh, for the customer's request and I thought it came out really nice. Black shirts always look really nice but it's always a hassle to paint because you are using a lot of material but other than that, you know, hopefully you guys are having a great week and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take it easy for now, bye bye.